What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in today. We are actually hanging around the Buick because Dad's putting in work on this thing. He has taken the old aluminum drive shaft tunnel and replaced it with a metal one. And that is a uh, big upgrade because obviously as you can see we sit right next to the drive shaft. Any failures could be catastrophic harm to said driver. So probably going to add another loop or two into this ordeal as well and going from aluminum to steel gonna help out a bunch make it a lot safer that is what he's doing um old one is already in the garbage as you can see and he has the bottom of the new one in right there fit it up looks good um we'll be adding a few more loops or one or two more loops depending these loops right here as you can see, pieces go in, that kind of deal. Um, to add a loop, we are going to have to add a bar from here down to the other side, so on and so forth. Kind of what we got going on on the Buick right now and what we're doing today. Um, for me, over here on the Fairmont, I'm going to be putting together my other frame rail and hopefully get that in. So that's what we got going on today. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm gonna get to work, get this thing going, and uh, get this frame rail done, so that way I can have both frame rails tacked in exactly where they're supposed to be, and then I can work on another bar that is needed. So I'm gonna get to work. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm done doing something. Who knows, I don't know. But that's what we got, that's where we're at. I'm gonna get it to work. Dad's gonna be working on the tunnel. Let's just get to it. So here we are, day uh, two, and as you saw, let me turn the light on. All right, so as you saw, Dad is over here making quick work of this. He got the old aluminum tunnel out, new steel one, working on putting that in and uh, making good progress. That's kind of where we're at. That's where Dad's at on that. That's in. We still got more to go, but he's making good progress on it. Uh, I'm over here. I got my frame rails done. So both of them are done. Uh, they're not in. I'm working on getting them in. Actually, today I'm going to try my hardest to have both of these tacked into location where they are going to stay permanently. And then, uh, yeah, it's kind of my goal today. I got to touch them up a little bit, clean them up a little bit, and uh, maybe make them look not so obvious that they are two tubes put together to make that one length um yeah kind of gonna do that just kind of gonna clean them up make it look 
less like uh, two tubes, more like one tube, maybe. Um, but yeah, clean them up a little bit. And then I'm gonna start playing with a tape measure and getting these in location and tacking them up. And hopefully, end of today, we have them in location where they are going to stay permanently. That is the goal, that is the plan. That is what I got going on. And instead of rambling, I'm just gonna give you a quick little look again of two frame rails in there. Perfect, awesome, cool. I'm getting back to work. I'm gonna get these things in and yeah. All right, that's kind of our little mid video update. Back to work, back to the video. Hope you guys enjoy per usual and uh, we'll catch up at the end and see where we leave off. All right, so I know you've seen this view before, but this view is different because these are actually tacked in, which means that they are placed there permanently for the most part. So we got our diagonals, we got our measurements, everything, and the bars are straight. They're where they're supposed to be. And then I tacked them in. Now. It's just me here, Dad's not here. He did help me get diagonals done, but he, which you didn't see because I turned my camera off because 
Who wants to see me pull measurements for 10 minutes? It's not that fun. But dad did show up. He had to go somewhere tonight. But he did help me pull measurements, get my diagonals right, and pretty much looks this thing over, and we are agreeing on where the uh, frame rails are. So it is just me now. And before I weld them in completely, I want to check diagonals again. Make sure nothing moved, nothing shifted. My angles are good. If you saw, I was using my angle finder. Um, the angles are still good. Uh, the measurements are still good, but you know, I just want to double check everything before I weld them completely permanently up. So this is actually where we kind of got to stop tonight. So we got our frame rails in for hopefully the last time. Um, they are just tacked in real quick. And, you know, nothing special. Just tacked in real quick to make sure that they don't go anywhere. We're going to pull our measurements and then we are going to finally weld them in. But I just gotta make sure that my diagonals didn't move and my measurements didn't move. And I can't pull diagonals um, by myself because it's a far distance. But um, when he gets back or, you know, in a few days, we'll finish welding this thing up and we'll get it all set ready to go. And that's super exciting because frame rails are in that means our next step is to get a bar is to cut these down right about here and get a bar that goes across to reattach these to all of this and yeah that's super exciting i'm super stoked so we got our frame rails in i'm super pumped about it they're they're in they're 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 tacked in i'm super stoked about that that is super awesome and super cool so short little video happy friday y'all we got frame rails and I'm pumped. Um, yeah, I'm super pumped about that. That's awesome, super cool. Very excited about that. So yeah, it's, uh, I'm just gonna sit here and stare at it for a little bit because I'm just, I'm super happy that they're in, they're tacked in and it's, we just go from there. So I'm gonna end this video off here. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe as usual. I'm pumped. We, uh, we are checking we are checking a big thing off the list um, because once the frame rails are in, then it's just connect the dots, add a bunch of bracing to it, um, you know, put shock mounts in, put the rear end in, all that good stuff is coming now that we have those bad boys in. Super pumped about that. But still a lot to do. Obviously, like I said, I got to still add a bunch of bracing to them, got to brace the body, all that fun stuff. Make sure they're not moving anywhere and making sure that it is a nice, sturdy car. Um, but enough rambling frame rails are tacked in pretty much ready to go. I just need to double check measurements, make sure nothing moved when I tacked them in and then we can weld them all the way around and frame rails will be in permanently, but I don't think they're coming back out. I think we are, uh, I think we're going to be pretty happy with them because it didn't, it didn't feel like they moved at all. Nothing, the, the marks I have given myself, um, nothing seems like it's moved, but just better be safe than sorry. So Gonna pull some measurements, make sure nothing moved, make sure my diagonals are still perfect. And then, uh, yeah, we'll weld everything up. But I'm gonna end this video off here. Thank you guys for watching, like, share, comment, subscribe as always. I appreciate you guys watching. We got the frame rails in, super pumped. And uh, yeah, we'll be welding next video. That's super cool. So thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys next time.